Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology. This is a series of lecture regarding protein sorting, protein targeting and protein trafficking. This is the first lecture regarding protein trafficking. And in this lecture we are going to talk about the overall idea and basic idea about the protein trafficking. Okay? And when we say protein trafficking, what are the processes that comes under the protein trafficking? And we are also going to see some important aspect of a protein trafficking. So the first thing that I want to talk about here is the basics of protein trafficking. So when I say basic means what is protein trafficking? Basically it's a process of how a protein after the synthesis is modified, is folded, modified chemically and sorted and delivered to their destination. This whole process is known as the protein trafficking process. So trafficking means basically the process of from the production of protein, then packaging, folding, packaging, chemical modification, sorting and delivery. All these things are under the roof of protein trafficking, which will also be called as a protein targeting or we can uh, also say that as a protein transport system. Protein transport. So we can also tell this as a protein transport system. transport system. So when I say protein transport system, what do you actually mean by protein transport? Protein transport system or protein trafficking system as I told you in simple terms is after the production of the protein, the modification, sorting and delivery. So what I can say is that basically what kind of whatever type of protein trafficking available, there are two different routes for the protein to take. Whatever protein produced in a cell, there are two separate routes. I believe all of you know the location of protein synthesis. I believe all of you know uh, the place for the protein synthesis. And inside the cell, the protein synthesis takes place where? In the cytosol. You all know that the protein synthesis takes place in the cytosol. But after the synthesis in the cytosol, where the protein goes, there are two separate directions of protein. One is a kind of protein uh, secretion or pathway related to protein secretion or called as a secretory pathway or the second pathway here is related to the proteins delivery to different organelles. So the location or the targeting of a protein after it's synthesized can be either secretion that is out of the cell or so basically there are two pathways for secretion out of the cell or it can be targeted to the cell membrane because there are numerous proteins necessary to be implanted and presented to the cell membrane so that is the pathway secretory pathway on the other wing of the pathway when a protein need to be delivered inside organelles for example we can deliver it to the nucleus we can deliver it to the mitochondria so when you deliver it to the nucleus or mitochondria, those proteins, nucleus, mitochondria, peroxisome, so they have different organelles and the protein targeted to the different organelles. That is a different route, different pathway altogether. That's the big difference between the two. Now when you compare these two types of pathway, there is a fundamental difference of the protein's journey. Always think yourself as the protein which is just synthesized. So now you are very happy you are synthesized. You will take the journey, consider yourself as the protein, so you can consider the journey of the protein quite easily and you can relate to it. See, the journey of the protein is a little different because the protein that is produced and destined for secretion or targeted to the membrane, they are never taking the journey of only cytosome. Right after the protein synthesis, they are already targeted towards the organelle ER, endoplasmic reticulum. I will take the different color for you to understand it better. So I will take this color. So what I am saying is that any protein that follows the secretory pathway either outside of the cell or towards the cell membrane, they once secreted they are transferred where? To the ER. So the protein synthesis for this kind of proteins are actually done in the rough endoplasmic reticulum, also known as RER, rough endoplasmic reticulum. 
So right after the protein synthesis, it is targeted toward the rough endoplasmic reticulum because in this endoplasmic reticulum, it looks like this and lots of ribosomes are sitting. Many ribosomes are sitting and these ribosomes are making proteins. And the moment peptide, polypeptide is made, it is transported inside the ER lumen. Inside the ER lumen, further modification of the protein means folding of the protein will be done by the help of chaperones. They are chemically modified sometimes and then they are packaged into the vesicle and transported via a particular sequential pathway. On the other hand, if the protein is delivered to the organelle, the target is organelle. In that case, the protein synthesized in cytosol and it is released in cytosol and the journey is from cytosol inside the organelle like nuclear, like mitochondria, like chloroplast, like peroxisome, any of this. These are the two discrete pathways that take place inside the cell. Just keep this in your mind. Now I am going to share list and steps, sequence of events that are actually involved in the process of protein trafficking. That's what we are going to talk now. We are here going to talk this side of the story. That is when the protein is destined to be delivered outside of the cell or to the cell membrane. This side of the story in this particular lecture. In the other lecture, in this series, we are going to discuss about the delivery of protein inside nucleus and inside mitochondria. That is known as protein translocation. Protein translocation inside nucleus, protein translocation inside mitochondria. We'll talk about that later. So, I'll share this list, sequence of events with you. These are the sequence of events that you need to remember. Actually, it's not that you don't, you don't need to mug it up because you can easily understand uh, this overall process one while I'm explaining it to you. Why I'm saying this? Because it's very easy to understand. The steps starting like this, all these events. First is the protein synthesis. Protein synthesis take place again, in this case, in the cytosol, but very close proximity to the ER because in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Right after the protein synthesis, it is translocated inside the endoplasmic reticulum. Again, the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Why we call it rough? Because the ribosomes are in close proximity to endoplasmic reticulum. So rough endoplasmic reticulum. After the translocation, the protein gets folded and modified. Protein needs some sort of modifications. Because the protein once synthesized, it has multiple type of signal. Those signals are necessary to understand whether the protein is to be retained in the cell or to be delivered out of the cell. Very important signals. So in this case, folding is mediated by chaperone proteins. And once the modification, once everything is done at this moment, then what happens after that? The vesicular transport. Vesicular transport is, so <clears throat> after the modification is done, the protein is packaged. Okay, transported and packaged inside the vesicle and bulged out from the ER. Then it moves to the Golgi apparatus. Those vesicles will fuse with the Golgi apparatus. And inside the Golgi apparatus, they are sorted. They are processed. It's basically multiple chemical modifications can be done. Then they are destined for different locations. So sorting is also done. After that is done, again vesicles start form. And now they are ready for the secretion. Secretion out of the cell. Or they can be transported directly to the membrane, cell membrane. Now there are some proteins we need to regain. So what we do simply? Endocytosis of those proteins or anything that the cell engulfs from outside, solid materials, they engulf from outside. Those are forming endosomes and then they will fuse with lysosome. They are degraded and they are again those proteins and fragments of the proteins are transported back to the cell. And that's how the recycling process works. So this is a cyclical process that keeps on repeating as a part of this side that is secretory pathway or secretory side of the protein trafficking pathway inside of the cell. So here I'll, I'll be showing you, so you can take a screenshot here. I'll move in and I'll explain this process here once. So what we have here is the cell, let's say this is the membrane and ultimate fusion will be there in the membrane or outside of the cell we are targeting. And uh, let's say this is the endoplasmic reticulum. Okay. And what happened is that 
let's say in this endoplasmic reticulum there are particular protein known as translocon translocon channel type proteins they help to pull a nascent polypeptide inside the er lumen what is a nascent polypeptide means a polypeptide which is just synthesized a nascent polypeptide which is not folded yet so it will be dragged inside the er lumen okay so this is where the ribosome is placed and the polypeptide is built the polypeptide is transported and the translocon that is present here is known as sec secretory 61 sec 61 is the secretory translocon that is present in the er membrane and it will help in bringing the nascent polypeptide inside the er lumen this is the lumen of er er lumen and once it is inside, then there will be folding mediated by chaperone proteins, which are also present inside the ER lumen. After that is done, then what happens is that there will be bulging, formation of vesicle inside of which the target protein of ours is ready. Then this vesicle will fuse with Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus. This vesicle will fuse with Golgi apparatus. Right? Once it fuses with Golgi apparatus, then further movement like this. After the movement is done again, there will be vesicle bulging out with our target protein. That vesicle will move and what it happens is that it will fuse the cell membrane. After the fusion, the protein will be delivered outside of the cell. That's how easy it is. And then if it engulfs something, I'll take a different color to explain the engulf process here, engulfment. If it engulfs anything, that's a different protein, then engulfing is done. Then again transport back the same pathway but in the reverse direction okay that is known as retention cycle so this whole process you can clearly see that there is a process from the er to the golgi to the membrane er golgi membrane although the protein is synthesized in the cytosol but the delivery system is through er golgi and cell membrane in this case, this direction, there are two directions. One is the ER, Golgi and membrane. Another one is the reverse. Membrane, Golgi, ER. If it is ER, Golgi, membrane, that is the anterograde pathway. Anterograde pathway. And if it is in the re reverse direction from membrane, Golgi, ER, we call it as a retro retrograde pathway why retro because in the reverse direction retrograde is the reverse anterograde is the forward direction of secretory pathway this anterograde pathway is actually catalyzed by specific sort of set of proteins and name of such proteins i'll again take a different color so the name of the protein that is involved here is in the anterograde pathway basically the anterograde pathway and the name is COP. COP proteins are involved. COP2. The retrograde pathway is further. It, it utilizes COP1. Okay. Some accessory proteins are also involved in this processes. We will see that in the next lecture. But this is how the overall secretory wing of the membrane trafficking works. That's how the cell protein trafficking works. I believe we have a clear understanding of protein trafficking by now. Okay. Let me explain it in Hindi quickly. Both simple si baat mein samjha dete hain ki yahan par ER mein jo protein synthesis hota hai ER mein insert kiya jata hai protein ko. Fir protein ko package kiya jata hai vesicle ke andar. Is vesicle ko transport kiya jata hai Golgi mein. Fir Golgi se इसको डिलीवर किया जाता है मेम्ब्रेन में आइदर मेम्ब्रेन के साथ ये फ्यूज होके मटेरियल जो है बाहर निकाल देगा या फिर वो मेम्ब्रेन तक ही वो प्रोटीन को एम्बेड करके रख देगा सो दैट इज एन ओवरऑल प्रोसेस ऑफ 
this protein trafficking system particularly the secretory pathway system in the next lecture we are going to talk about the detailed mechanism of cop2 mediated anterograde pathway and cop1 mediated retrograde pathway and how they follow the anterograde and retrograde pathway in details so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to get more videos like that and also stay tuned to watch all the lectures of this series to be a master of cell signaling and protein trafficking thank you